state law says that I have the right to be here. That, that announcement violates state law. It violates my right to be here and record with video camera. Uh, well, I, I'm coming to your office because I'm interested in knowing what happened on March 22nd to Amy Hedke at your committee hearing and why she was arrested. I, I don't know why she was arrested. We didn't even know she was arrested until... Um, uh, until... Uh, hold on two seconds, okay? Hold on just a second, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on a second? It seems like they don't really have... A lot yeah, of can you hold on just a second? I'm sorry, somebody's trying to talk to me. This seems pretty odd. We are sitting here outside the hearing room at the John Reagan building. Uh, we're waiting for the House to adjourn so we can testify on or against some of these bills that are coming through. There's this nifty little sign behind me outside the hearing room that says that only those with capital media credentials are going to be allowed to stream and record. This is Amy Hedke, a mother and a citizen journalist from Texas. Like us at Project Veritas, she believes in creating a more ethical and transparent society by holding those in power accountable. In March, her plan was to attend and film a hearing in the Texas House State Affairs Committee. The chair is State Representative Byron Cook, a Republican from Texas House District 8. State law says that open meetings, you cannot prohibit attendees from recording. In fact, the Texas law is clear and gives everyone the right to film. A person in attendance may record all or any part of an open meeting of a governmental body by means of a recorder, video camera, or other means of oral or visual reproduction. This state law says that I have the right to record. So you're going to break state law and remove me? The chairman has the right to make that decision. Where does the chairman have the right to break state law? There's no discussion. I have the right to stay and record with video camera. If you remove me, you, if you re I am not going to leave. I am, because I am exercising my rights. I have the right to be here. And I have the right to record. DPS officers took Amy's camera and then removed her from the hearing room. Because she refused to leave the room in the building, Amy was arrested. I'm not resisting, I'm just not assisting you. I'll give you to get your stuff and exit the building and leave the park. Do not leave the building and be pressed with arrest for criminal trespassing. You will be arresting me for trespassing because you remo you illegally removed me from a room. We asked you to leave, ma'am. You illegally removed We're me asking, from a you, room. We give you a lawful order to leave. That is not a lawful order. It breaks state law. Go ahead and handcuff me. When we heard and saw Amy's story, we were intrigued. We decided to visit the chairman of the committee, Representative Byron Cook. Hello, how are you doing? I'm uh, James O'Keefe with uh, Project Veritas. Is he here today? Um, so, yeah, we're gonna, we'll let y'all Thank you guys, be well. We, we do Thanks guys. No. Thank y'all. All right. Have a great one. Okay. We were quickly ushered out of Representative Cook's office. As soon as we got into the hallway, we got a call from Ms. Tony Barcelona, Chairman Cook's Chief of Staff. I mean, the letter of the law makes it clear that you are, in fact, allowed to record hearings. So, so my question for you is, did Representative Cook break the law by prohibiting Amy from filming on that day? He, he didn't specifically prohibit Amy or anyone else from filming. It was, it, 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 if you have capital media credentials, you, you are allowed to film or record. And um, the, you know, Texas Constitution authorizes the House to determine the rules of its own proceedings, including the rules of the committee proceedings. Uh, the House rules explain that um, the rules shall be deemed, on, you know, that the only requirements binding of the House of Representatives are under, you know, Section 2, Article 3 of the Constitution, um, notwithstanding any requirements. Uh, express his statute. Why is this matter just your your issue such an important matter here? Well we've seen throughout history how governments always if they can control the narrative they can control what people think they can they control what facts are available. Moments after we showed up at Cook's office DPS officers were called 
it seems that Representative Cook didn't want Project Veritas asking questions. You know, in one point he's staring at us, by the way. He's, he's staring. I'm, a, I'm a with Project Veritas. We do a, a media organization just asking some representatives some questions. Is that okay? Or, uh, okay. That's, that's fine. No worries. Yes, uh, until someone can come and play. What happened? What did they I mean, complain I, don't, about? I haven't been in there, but I, I, did they what you're doing is fine until okay. someone can play. That's all. We find it ironic that Chairman Cook, after banning Amy from his committee hearing, then called the cops on us. Transparency doesn't seem to be his strong suit. She was arrested by this office. I'm just wondering who made the decision to do that? Well, I would say it's more of a DPS thing. My thing was just the removal from the room. So you have to leave. There's no discussion. I'm sorry. I have the right to be here. And I have the right to record. I'm sorry, you don't. Since there is a criminal charge in this pending, we DPS cannot discuss it at this time. Some of these politicians think they are above the law, and they can certainly be hypocrites, as evidenced by the way they reacted when we walked up to their office and tried to ask them some basic questions. But Amy Hedke should have been allowed to film that hearing. Amy should not have been arrested, but she was willing to be arrested. She was standing up for her rights, she was standing up for the people in the state of Texas, and Amy was standing up for all of us.